Look at all the berry buds, Custard. See how they're ready to explode into flowers? They'll be more than just blossoms any second. Uh-oh! Oh, no! Uh, whoa! You know, we ought to do something. Something to celebrate. But what could we do? Oh! I have a very big idea! We can have a festival! A very big berry blossom festival! I can just see it! A wondrous big party with flowers, and food, and music, and crafts, and all our friends from Strawberry Land! Well, what do you think? <laughs> Me, I think something will go wrong like it always does. <laughs> Custard, don't be so gloomy. Come on, there's lots to do. Well, what do you think? We'll have our own first ever once a yearly Berry Big Berry Blossom Festival. <gasps> oh boy! <gasps> Sounds fun! <laughs> oh yeah! Yes, I am so into that. Sounds great, me too! I like it, I surely do, yes indeed! We could have a band! We could give a show! Hold on, stand back, let me think. I can build a stage that turns and goes up and goes down, and you can give your show there. I can make all kinds of juices for everyone. I could do the decorations. Perfect! It'll be the very best festival ever! But you know, there's still something missing. Like what, Blueberry Muffin? Like a, hmm, like a queen. For the festival, we can have a berry blossom queen. Yeah! Terrific! Super idea! I like it! A queen! That's great! We can start the whole thing with the fabulously fancy formal tea party! I have a great old book that tells all about putting on parties. Come on, let's check it out. I better get started on the decorations. There's a lot to do to get ready. Bye! See you later! All right, bye! Ooh! I'll start making posters! This is going to be the greatest thing ever! Pencil, please! Don't you think, huh, Chocolate? It's going to have lights! Pencil, please! A rotating platform rises up here! Pencil! It turns up here and all these little lights will blink like crazy! Pencil, please! Right here, Orange Marmalade! Thanks for the help, Orange Marmalade! to the Berry Big Berry Blossom Festival. What do you think? I think everyone who's anyone in Strawberry Land will be there. Hey, everybody! Hi, Hi Angel, Angel Cake. Cake! What you got, Angel Cake? Here you go, and one for you, here's one for you, and you, and you too. But what are they, Angel Cake? Invitations to the tea party. It's going to be very fancy, very formal. I hope you all have something nice to wear. Fancier than this? I don't have a whole lot of nice stuff. If you want, you can borrow something from my collection of dress-up clothes. That's perfect, thank you, Blueberry. I'll help everybody pick some nice clothes. Here's my closet. I have green and yellow and blue and pink. Ooh, I like this. Can I try this one? That looks so cute on you. I like yellow. Hey, sorry I'm late. Okay, Raspberry's here. Now we can get started. have a lot to get ready for the party. Um, uh, 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 gee, don't know how to say this, but the truth is, I don't know much about these fancy formal things, like which fork to use and when and why and how, you know? I don't either. Hey, no problem. I can teach you. We'll have a little pretend practice party, okay? Sure. Great. Sounds like a plan. I like it. Yes, let's do that. Good idea. Okay. Please have a seat, everyone. 
The tea party is about to begin. First, we put our napkins in our laps. Uh, I didn't get a napkin. Me neither. We're pretending, remember? Watch, I pick up my napkin and daintily set it on my lap. Right, I got it. Ever so neatly now. Oh, this is ridiculous. Blueberry Muffin, would you like to pass the sandwiches, please? My pleasure, Angel Cake. Here you are. Sandwich, Ginger Snap? Mmm, delicious. So light and airy. Thank you, Ginger Snap. Sandwich lemon meringue? Give me one of those, will ya? Hey, who put that there? Oh, no, Raspberry. That's not the way it's done. We never reach. Oh. Sorry. And we don't talk with our mouths full. It's not real food. Still, it's bad manners, and manners matter. Oh, well, who cares anyway? I don't want to be bothered with all this manners nonsense. It would be kind of nice if you were a little more polite. Yeah, I agree. And me sort of, too. Hmph. <laughs> manners don't matter. But they do, Raspberry. Prove it. Hey, if you can't prove to me that manners matter, well, then you can count me out of your party. Fine, then. This isn't a very fun party. Wait, Raspberry! I have an idea. We'll have two parties, and you can come to both. And what's the point of that? When we're done, you can tell us which one you like better. Well, okay. But I don't understand why. I think you'll understand very soon. <laughs> two parties. <laughs> What's two parties gonna prove? So just what is this great idea of yours, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? Yeah, how are we ever gonna make her see that manners matter? Here's the plan. We put on two parties. At one, we have no manners at all. But at the other one, we'll have Perfect manners. Raspberry will see which one is more fun. Hmm? Well... Huh? How? I don't know. Guess it might work. Then come on, let's get going. I just don't see what their problem is. There's nothing so bad about my manners. My friends are highfalutin and hoity-toity too But there is no disputing that dainty just won't do Some tell you mind your manners, but here's what I believe If you're supposed to use a napkin, then why'd you have a sleeve? Oh man, oh man, oh manners, what's the great big deal? I tell you manners don't matter as much as what you feel Oh man, oh man, oh manners, manners are no fun Cause manners are like rules, it's better to have none And if I feel like slurping, well who's it gonna hurt? First, I have dessert and watch with please and thank you. It's best for just to take. Oh, people who have manners are just phony and so fake. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, it's a great big deal. Do they make the day go better? Do they make a taste or meal? No, I'd rather think of manners as the job that others do. Then it's just like everyone is working just for you. Mind your manners. I'll reach across the table, won't even try to share. I'll eat with just my fingers. I'll stand up in my chair And if that makes him angry That's how it's gonna be Cause the only one I care about Is me, myself, and me Oh man, oh man, oh manners What's the great big deal? I mean my mean old oh manners I mean just being real Oh man, oh man, oh manners They act like I'm not grown And if they don't like my manners Then man, me and my manners Will be better off alone Hi, Custard. Is Strawberry here? Yep. There's supposed to be a party, but they didn't tell me where or when. Oh? Do you know anything about it? Maybe. Custard, you're being very rude. Am I? What's up with that cat? Oh, hi, Raspberry Tort. What's going on? We're having a party, remember? 
Hey, everybody's here already. They sure are. But why didn't anyone tell me? We didn't want to bother you with those silly good manners. But you can come in as long as you're here. I don't see what manners have to do with it. You should have let me know. Hey, you raspberry. How's it going? Oh, hello. You're all wearing pink dresses. Why didn't anyone tell me I was supposed to wear a pink dress? We didn't think you'd want to be bothered. There aren't any seats left. Well, guess you could sit on the floor if you wanna. <laughs> That's not very polite. There are no manners at this party. Oh, I get it. Super. Huh? Sorry, that's mine. <laughs> hey, a sandwich! Nope, all mine. Cakes! Give me a pastry at least. Oh, well, all right, if you insist. Blueberry! <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Oh, don't be so fussy, Raspberry. Ginger Snap, that was mine! What? Could I get one of those pastries? Get it yourself. I'm eating. <gasps> I believe that's mine. Hey, no way! Whoa! Yum! Jam! Mmm, good! Ew! That's gross, Angel Cake! Oh, that's kind of gross, too. And that's really, really gross! <laughs> Well, have fun cleaning up. <laughs> See ya. Catch you later. To talk for now. Ciao. Bye bye. Thanks, Strawberry. Um, good party. <gasps> Wrong. That was not a good party. Boy, I sure am glad to be back home. Hmm. What's this? You are invited to a tea party at Blueberry Muffin's house at 4 o'clock today. At least they told me this time. Will you pass the cookies, please, Lemon Meringue? I'd be happy to, Orange Blossom. Oh, I'm sorry, Raspberry. Would you like more cookies? <laughs> Cookies? <laughs> Thank you, Lemon Meringue. You're welcome, Orange Blossom. Would you like some more tea, Strawberry Shortcake? Yes, please. Hey, me too. Thank you very much, Blueberry. You're very welcome, Strawberry. I'm glad you're having a good time, Raspberry. Absolutely. <laughs> Which party do you like better, Raspberry? This one or the other? Hey, this one for sure. And why is that, Raspberry? Because I'm getting more food at this one. But is that the only reason, Raspberry? Yeah, pretty much. I think I like this one better, too. It's much nicer if you ask me. Because we're all using good manners at this party. Why do you guys keep harping on that manners stuff? Because manners matter, Raspberry. They do not. Why don't you just keep your silly tea parties? I don't want any part of this. Forget it. I'm going home. Hm. I don't see what their problem is. Why do manners matter so much to them? I had a great time without bothering with manners. Of course, I didn't get very much to eat at that first tea party. But then there was the second one. They were awful nice at that other one. 
Maybe they're right. Maybe manners do matter. Maybe they really do. I'm sorry for the way I acted, Strawberry. I was being very silly and rude. <laughs> I guess I don't know much about manners and how to act at all. <laughs> I could teach you, Raspberry. Could you? Would you? I'd be happy to. Strawberry, you're the best. <laughs> First thing you do when you sit down, before anything else, is put your napkin on your lap. Like this? I don't tuck it in my shirt like a bib. <laughs> Only if you're eating lobster. Why don't you learn along with us? Everyone can use good manners. Would you like a cookie, Raspberry? Oh, yeah! Actually, you should say, yes, please, and use your table voice, not your outside voice. Yes, please. Remember, one at a time. Oh, of course. One, 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 one. And now you say... Thank you, Strawberry. That's it. And you're very welcome, Raspberry. <laughs> this is kind of fun, huh? Yes, but you shouldn't talk with your mouth full. Would you like a glass of milk? Uh, yeah. I, oh. I mean, yes, please. Thank you. Raspberry. Oh. No slurping, huh? That's right. There's a lot to learn, isn't there? Yes, and here's a rule you may not know. It's not good manners to put your elbows on the table. Oops. <laughs> 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 there, now all I need is a guest or two. Angel cake, it all looks beautiful. It's absolutely perfect, like a picture. Thank you, Angel cake. But where are strawberry and raspberry? Here we are, raspberry. Raspberry, we're so glad you could come. Thank you for inviting me. After you, Strawberry. Thank you, Raspberry. The best part of the party is not a thing you buy. The best part of the party such a good guest before, and I'm sorry. But now I know how to act, and I promise you'll never regret inviting me ever again. And we'd like to thank you, Raspberry, for your very good manners. Yes. Thank you. Your manners are lovely now. Bravo, Raspberry. You're doing great. I'm impressed. Remember, if you 
show your good manners, your friends appreciate you all the more. Yes, please. May I? Thank you. Pardon me. But of course. Why, yes. It's impossible, they said. On the contrary, he said calmly, it's quite possible. I shall return, he told them, at this exact time on the 16th of September. And so it was exactly a quarter before nine o'clock on that Saturday morning that Phileas Fogg left for his journey round the world in 80 days. No one believed that Mr. Fogg would make it. 80 days couldn't be enough time. But at one second before a quarter of nine o'clock on September 16th, into the club door stepped Phileas Fogg, and in his calm voice he said, My friends, here I am. But Phileas, cried his friends, this is the 81st day since you left. Gentlemen, said Mr. Fogg, you forget that I crossed the international date line. It is here that the new day begins. By crossing in an easterly direction, I lost an entire day. So you see, I have indeed come around the world in exactly 80 days. The end. <coughs> around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne is one of my all-time favorites. Come on. Nobody could actually get that far that fast unless they were in a jet airplane. It's impossible. A lot of things are possible. If you have the right attitude, you can find ways around most any obstacle. She's right, as always. It's all about having a positive outlook. But of course, some things are still impossible, like going around the world in 80 days without, as you say, a jet. I'd give every pie in this wagon to anyone who could do that. If anybody could do it, Strawberry Shortcake could. She can find ways around any kind of obstacle. Uh, Ginger? Yes, yes, I know. But still, she couldn't possibly make that trip. Oh, uh, she could do it with her eyes closed. If she didn't make it... Oh! I'd expect something in return. How about every berry in Strawberry Land? Why, yes. I guess that's a fair deal. What would I do without these kids? I'll be back in 80 days, but I don't think you will be. Take good care of our berry plants. Have a nice trip. Ginger Snap, what did you just do? Uh, said something I shouldn't have, didn't I? I'll say. And the worst part is, he's right. You'll never make it back in time, Strawberry. Maybe not, but maybe, just maybe, I will. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Ginger Snap had it in her garage. Can you believe it? You gotta be kidding, right? You really think you're going around the world in this old thing? Hey, I made that myself. It'll go anywhere. Anywhere, you say? Hmm. But is it safe? Sure it is. It can fly in the air and float in the water. Well, it is an amazing piece of machinery. Ah, but what's this? These bolts are a bit loose. Better fix it. We wouldn't want to have an accident. Here, let me give it a gentle tap. Yes, that should do it. Ought to work like a charm now. Hey, what did you do? Strawberry Sharky Clock. Whoa, what's happening here? Oh, how dreadful. Ah, well, you might as well give up. No way you'll make it now. Strawberry, get up here and stop this thing! I'm coming, Peppermint! Bon voyage! Good luck! See you soon! Here, here, take my hand! Thanks, Peppermint. Now get us down, please, Strawberry. I want to go home. What happened here? Nothing's working! I have to fix all this. Just turn it off. Make us land. We're going to be fine, Peppermint. We're already over the ocean. I guess that means I'm coming along for the ride, huh? Welcome aboard, shipmate Peppermint. We could be anywhere. We could just be flying around in circles. We'll be okay. 
Besides the panels, I've been watching the stars. There's the bright berry star of the east. It looks like we're headed right where we want to be. Don't cry. Don't be blue. We're sailing toward a day that's new. Who knows all the joys in store when you're sailing toward tomorrow? The sun will shine so bright and we'll be guided by the stars at night. They remind us we can dream Just hang on a little longer, Peppermint. See, out there? We've made it! It's Paris! Where Crepe Suzette lives! What's the matter? I think we're out of gas. Hold on! Hey, Peppermint? I'm all right. How about you? I'm good, but this ship's a wreck. It's not going any further, I'm afraid. I guess we'll never make it now. No, we'll find a way around this little obstacle. We'll find a new way to travel, the same as Phileas Fogg did. Ah, uh, Paris, we've made it. But this is costing us a fortune. What's the point? The berries of the garden are worth far more. So quit complaining. We have work to do. Work? There's that word again. Bonjour. Entrez, s'il vous plaît. Hello, Crepe Suzette. Strawberry shortcake? Is it you? Bonjour, Crepes. Hello. You remember Peppermint Fizz, don't you? Mais oui, bien sûr. Of course, bonjour, Peppermint. Please, come tell me what brings you here. The next thing we knew, we were flying across the ocean, headed toward Paris. What a remarkable journey you've had. Well, it's been a long one anyway. We've been going for weeks. Oh, Peppermint, it hasn't been so bad. After all, look how far we've already come. Yeah, but I doubt we'll ever make it the rest of the way. You know what I do on long trips? I bring along a bag of small gifts and reward myself with one at the beginning of each day. Let me make one up just for you. I'm afraid we can't stay very long, Crepes. The controls on the boat were broken and we lost some time getting here. We need to make up at least a day. Thank you, Crepes Suzette. Is there any other way to get from here to there? 
Oh, yes. There's a train running that route every afternoon. If you early, you can still catch it. I knew we could count on you, Crepe Suzette. You see, Peppermint? We're making good time again. You just have to keep that positive attitude. <laughs> Looks like the sheep want to graze on the tracks today. It'll take forever to get this cleared up. Guess we're not going to make it after all. Remember, Peppermint, there are ways around any obstacle. Even this? Yes, if we work on the problem a little at a time, we'll be able to handle it. We can't move these sheep all at once, but we can move them one at a time. Come on, little fella, follow me. You see, it just seemed like a big obstacle. When we took it a little at a time, it wasn't so bad. What do I keep telling you? She can overcome any obstacle you put in her path. It's time for plan B. <sighs> no way we're gonna move that a little at a time. It'd take years. There are other ways to travel, like that. Oh, Strawberry, tell me you're kidding, please. Come on, we don't have any time to lose. What's she up to now? We sawed that tree down to stop her in her tracks. On to plan C. Just look at this, Peppermint. We're halfway through the jungle already, and we still have 40 days left. You know, I should reward myself. Like Creep Suzette said. Hey, looky, it's a camera. Give us a smile, Strawberry. <laughs> We've made it! We're out of the jungle! Thanks for your help, my friend. And thank you, nice elephant. Strawberry Shortcake, is that you? I know that voice. Tea Blossom! <laughs> so you see, now we have to find a ship to take us the rest of the way back. If we can get home in three weeks, that rotten old pie man won't get the berry fields. I'm sure we'll find what you need. My friends are looking for a very fast ship to take them back to Strawberry Land. Old Soggy Sal is one of the finest and fastest boats that ever sailed. It sounds perfect. Do you have room for us? We surely do. We'll sail with the morning wind if you want to come. Be here before the sun. All right! Thanks! Thanks for your help, Tea Blossom. Oh, it was my pleasure. Come back again when you have time to stay longer. You got it! <laughs> Thanks for everything! I know it's been a long trip, Peppermint, but we'll be home soon. Are we going to make it in time? The way I have it figured, we'll get there in exactly 80 days. Oh, the poor dears. They actually think we're taking them home. It'll be a lot longer than 80 days when they get back. You know, Strawberry, for the very first time, I really truly believe we're going to make it. Something's wrong, Peppermint. The bright berry star of the east ought to be there, not behind us. Maybe you're looking at the wrong star. There's a lot of them up there. Maybe. We'll know better when the sun rises. I was right. We were headed south. But why? Those fishermen said we were going to Strawberry Land. We better go talk to them. I'm sorry, little one, but I don't have time for talk. It's you. And you too. Why, yes, it is. So good of you to drop in. Oh. 
and good luck with the rest of your trip. <laughs> I can't believe how terrible those two are. They abandoned us on this deserted beach to stop us from getting back to Strawberry Land. Well, it's not over yet. Well, now where are we? I'm not sure, but there's something very familiar about this place. Strawberry shortcake? Tangerina? Hi there! Tangerina Torta! Is there anywhere you don't have a friend? What an amazing journey! I can't believe you've come so far. Trouble is, we have a long way to go and only a couple of days to get there. I'm beginning to think we may not make it. You don't have a rocket ship laying around, do you? I'm afraid I don't have one of those. But I have a motor scooter you can use. Cool! Perfect! We're almost there now, Peppermint! But Strawberry, it's 8.35. We only have 10 more minutes. Don't worry, Peppermint. What now? I don't know. I got it! Creep Suzette's gift bag! What are you doing, Peppermint? Just overcoming another obstacle. That's the right attitude, Peppermint! Well then, I think we can agree they aren't coming back in time. We've won fair and square, and the berries are ours. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, hey, hey! Hold it! Look over there! You're here a full day late. This is the 81st day since she left. Those are the breaks, dear. I'm afraid you're wrong. You see, we crossed the international date line here in the middle of the ocean. That's where the new day starts. So that makes today the 80th day, not the 81st. No, can't be. Tell me she's wrong. She's right, as usual. Come along, dear. We have some pies for you. You've won them fair and square. No, but thank you very much. That wasn't why I made the journey. Then why did you do it? To show that I could. To show I could overcome all the obstacles I faced. But you weren't supposed to make it. It was impossible. It was quite possible. I knew all along this was going to happen. I knew she'd pull it off. She always does. Are you coming or aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you did it, Strawberry Shortcake. You made it around the world in 80 days. It was a fantastic trip, but I'm very glad to be back home. Home is where the heart is, that's what people say. Home's what makes it special when you get to go away. You can travel new horizons. You can sail to distant shores. The home is where the heart is. Home is where you come from. Home is who you are. Home gives you the courage to decide to journey far. And wherever the journey takes you, you'll remember all the One of all. We may meet new faces, see just every sight.
that he can. But there's always something special about the place it all began. Home's what you come home to. Home is what you dream of. Home is where the start is. Home is where the heart is. Cause home is love. Huh? Oh. 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 you not to steal my strawberries. Find your own, will you? <laughs> Pupcake will never get finished if you keep eating them. Try the beginning. She uh, and then plus mm, on top of that, and the worst part, she's been robbed. <gasps> you know how she gathers sea berries at Seaberry Shore to make sea berry treats for you and all her friends. Oh, I certainly do. And you also know she's all alone. Just her and me and two dozen monkeys and nobody else for miles and miles. Only there is, but there isn't. Say what I mean! Well, not exactly. Not precisely. Not at all. Somebody stealing the sea berries! We need your help, Strawberry! Of course I'll help. Friends help friends. Coco Calypso needs help. Count me in, matey. The good ship Rainbow Float is at your service. And I love a good mystery. Can I come too? Sure, you know what they say. What's that? Mystery loves company. See, it's simple. As long as we keep heading ahead, we can't get lost. Land ahoy! We're here! We're home! We're home, sweet home! I'll go get Coco Calypso! Time to drop anchor. Give me a hand, mateys. Whoa, uh, this is uh, heavy. It has to be to keep the houseboat from drifting away. Hi, everybody. Coco Calypso. I want you to meet my friends, Rainbow Sherbert and Blueberry Muffin. They've come to help. Oh, thank you. Come on with me and I'll tell you everything that happened. It all started a few weeks ago, when I went out on the rocky point to gather sea berries, like I do most every day. Nothing seemed wrong. After I finished, it was time for some supper, then off to bed. <sighs> In the morning, when I went to bake some sea berry treats for you, <gasps> the berries were gone! A trail of them led to the lagoon and disappeared. Someone or something had stolen all of my sea berries. And every night since, the same things happened. That's why I haven't sent you any sea berry treats for weeks and weeks. Well, it's not going to happen again, if we can help it. Here's what I gathered today. They look lovely. Try one. Mmm, yum. Delicious. I never tasted anything like them. Because there isn't anything like them. They only grow in the waters off Seaberry Beach. We'll make sure nothing happens to them, even if we have to sit up all night. Right, girls? 
You got it. You can count on us. There. Now all we have to do is sit behind these palms and wait for whatever we're waiting for. I don't know how to thank you for this. I sure hope we solve this mystery soon. <gasps> you can count sheep on it. I mean, sleep on it. I mean, you can count on it. So long as we <sighs> don't fall. So tired. again. And no one will come see me. Not with some creature in the lagoon. Don't give up hope, Coco. We don't even know what kind of creature this creature is. Could be a put it there, glad to see you, not so very scary sort of sea creature. We're just going to have to find out, which means getting it to come back again, which means... More, More sea, berries. sea berries! Ready, set, he! Now we pull the net in very slowly and evenly. Don't jerk it or we'll lose the berries. How very beautiful they are. Tonight we'll take turns staying awake and keeping watch. Ah, dinner time! Coconut juice and taro root crackers. Aren't you going to join us, Coco? Can't. Got a big surprise to share with you all. We're on, guys. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Hit it, boys. Life is sweet on the sea very shore. It's paradise. Who could ask for more? I got sugar white sand. It was the best! Thanks. Thanks! And thank you! I'm 
happy to play for friends like you any old time. In fact, how about another concert tomorrow? Sure. Great. We'd love it. And the tomorrow after that, and the one after that one, and the next one, too, if you want. That's very nice of you, Coco. Hey, you can all move in with me if you want to. I'll take the first watch so the rest of you can sleep. Strawberry? Does Coco seem kind of, well, lonely to you? <sighs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Rise and shine, Rainbow Sherbert! Uh, aye, aye, Captain. I'm so tired I could fall asleep just sitting here. <sighs> I know just how you feel. Shine. Uh, oh no! It happened again! And there's another trail of berries. It's almost like this thing wants to be caught. Maybe it does want to be. Maybe we ought to take my boat out in the lagoon and look around. I don't see anything. Nothing except those dark clouds on the horizon. Could be a storm coming. Check it out, sea berries. Let's stop the boat and get out the net. Uh, how about a hand with the anchor? Mm, how about two? Anchors away! of sea berries today. We sure did. Shiver me timbers. We'd better head back. A storm like that can move fast. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, dear. We've got to get back to shore. Whoa. Whoa. Give me a hand with the anchor. Uh, uh, uh. It's sort of stuck. We have to get it in or the boat will be ripped to pieces. Let's heave and ho! Heave, ho! Heave, ho! <laughs> it's no use, the anchor's caught on something. Ah! I don't know how much more my boat can take. Ugh. We're moving. The anchor's come free. What luck. Or maybe it wasn't luck after all. Whoa! Hmm, it's been cut. That means somebody or something helped us. But who and why? Look! Did I see what I think I saw? If you think you saw what I think I saw, I think we all saw it. I think we better get back to shore. And I think I have an idea. When the berries are moved here, it moves this wire there, which will make this rope here pull the net up into this tree there. And this alarm will wake us up. This time we won't sleep through anything. Trap! It worked! We finally caught it! Whatever it is. Watch yourself, it might be dangerous. It might bite. Or claw, or breathe fire, or something absolutely awful. Or maybe it's no monster at all. I'm going to let it down. Strawberry, no! <gasps> A mermaid! Where? Where? Oh, oh my. You're not a mermaid. <laughs> a 
never said I was. You're a girl. I never said I wasn't. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. This is Coco Calypso, Blueberry Muffin, and Rainbow Sherbert. I'm Seabury Delight. I live in the lagoon. Hey, how'd that get there? That's our anchor. I thought you might need it. You mean you cut the rope? Well, you looked like you were in trouble. I was out on the rocks when I saw the storm coming. I saw you were stuck, so I dove in the water. That's when I saw that your anchor was caught in a rock. I swam right home to get something to cut with. You see, you have to swim to get to my house. It's the only way in. My house is hidden from above, so I'm safe from storms. I went right back and cut your anchor rope. I hope you don't mind. Mind? You saved our lives! You live in the lagoon? Yep. But how come I've never seen you? I've sort of kept to myself. I guess I'm no good at making friends. During the day, I take care of the sea berry plants and gather the berries when they're ripe. I use them to feed myself and my friends. My favorites are the sea sweeties. They're about the cutest creatures in all the sea. But then one day, the sea berries began disappearing. I had to do something. My friends were hungry. You were stealing them from me, but I was stealing them from you. Coco was taking the sea berries to make sea berry treats. Would you like to try one? Mmm! Oh, they're very delicious. But I guess I won't be able to make any more. I have a very good idea. Maybe Coco could take a few berries less and share the treats she makes with the sea sweeties. What do you think, Seaberry Delight? I just know the sea sweeties will love these wonderful treats. And what's more, Seaberry, you can be a friend to Coco, and Coco can be a friend to you. Hooray! Yay! Yes! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Life is sweet on the Seaberry shore. It's so much sweeter than ever before. In the sugar white sand where I once walked alone, there's a new pair of Next to my own, and a change has begun that is sweeping the bay. Somehow the sun felt warmer today. I guess I was lonesome, cause in the end, the sea very sure is much more with a friend. When you share things like places you love, the sand at your feet or the stars up above, the sand feels softer, the stars are more bright, and the whole place feels just righter than right. There's a warmth in the air and a hug in the breeze that wouldn't be there if it wasn't for these. Somehow a friend makes it all mean so much more A friend you can call I'll be your A friend to be there be your A friend to the end. end And a world to share Spread the news from the hills to the shore Friendship's a sugar sweet treat and it's more It's somewhere to count and it's something to make It's somewhere to run when you're needing a break You'll see troubles fade and you'll have a new view Everything's made so much better by two on the sea berry shore, you know a friend makes it all mean so much more. A 